All right. Um, it's a little bit of a preview of the talk I'm giving at 11. Um, thanks for inviting me back. I was on the stage at uh, Strata when we were a small conference crammed into the Hilton 2012. And uh, I think people bought, uh, invited me back because I did these crummy little hand-drawn diagrams. But we, back then, we talked about how early stage Hadoop was and how the pink guys, the web crowd, were the early adopters, and what could we do to uh, make Hadoop more relevant for the rest of us, for the enterprise, for uh, business, for everybody else. Uh, we talked about the elephant and where he was on the uh, hype cycle and the curve of the trough of disillusionment and was, was he going to survive. And I'm happy to report that I, I think he has. Um, and I think it's because of these two things that still hold true today about Hadoop, and uh, I call it her two beautiful things. The first one is the promise that Hadoop makes to us that I'll spread your data across many, many servers and I'll keep it safe. So that's the first property of Hadoop, is I'll let you spread your data across lots of servers and I'll keep it safe for you. I won't forget it. It's a good reason the elephant. The second one is that it encourages this idea that you should bring the work to the data, right? It flips it upside down, the traditional computing paradigm that you fetch the data into your compute application from wherever it was, that you bring your work to the data. And these two themes have allowed Hadoop actually to be resilient and to adopt new ideas as time passes. And this is a good thing for the elephant, I think. It allows us to be uh, optimistic that Hadoop is something that will uh, carry on uh, for quite some time. I, I talk about these patterns that I see in all of the customers that I work with that makes them successful. Let me just highlight three of them uh, that I think have happened since then that have reinforced this trend that Hadoop has reached mainstream. Uh, Yarn is the subsystem that allows us to share our cluster. Um, I'm from South Africa and I promote all of the antelope in South Africa, so if there's any out open source project that doesn't have an antelope yet, this fella here is the Nyala. And uh, it's the most beautiful antelope. The boys have a uh, much prettier uniform than the girls, the one boy there and the two girls on the, uh, on the left. Um, so we had Kudu announced this year, so hope to have a Nyala project uh, next year. But many different contributions can join the Hadoop platform because of Yarn allowing us to share this wonderful big pile of data that we've been allowed to accumulate in the distributed file system. And I think that's one of the reasons Hadoop is successful. It encourages new ideas to make extra value out of the data that we've already accumulated. Um, the second idea that's uh, got value is this idea of a data lake. So here's my picture of elephants playing in, the, in a river, not necessarily a lake. Um, and you might call it an ocean, and you might call it a reservoir. But essentially, the data lake idea is much bigger than the enterprise data warehousing ambitions of the past. And it encourages people to think for the first time, can we get all of our data in one single place and uh, make of it what we will? And Hadoop is the first time in history, I think, that we can actually fulfill that um, idea. The last picture, and uh, I wish I had time to ask what you thought this picture evoked. I think it's serenity, but it's really security. We've worked hard in the Hadoop ecosystem to uh, implement just enough security to get by, just in time security. Uh, security is very, very hard, and we need to do more on it. But the sharing of our cluster has forced us to work on the securing of our cluster. And I think as a community, as an ecosystem, we've done a pretty good job at making our clusters secure. So I don't know how many of you guys know this Pixar pitch. You can tell every story in the world as a fairy tale. Once upon a time, there was a Hadoop. Every day, people would do their work with MapReduce, and it was hard. One day, Arun gave us yarn. Because of that, lots of people were able to share the, uh, e uh, the, the system. Uh, because of that, we have a vibrant uh, ecosystem. And uh, finally, I think all fairy tales are supposed to end that everyone lives happily ever after. But I think this is a time to celebrate the success of uh, Hadoop and the ecosystem and claim that uh, we really have, you know, Gartner 
took Hadoop out of the hype cycle. They said it's a mainstream thing, it's not hype any longer. And then Merv, as he, as he uh, I don't know if this was a strategy to raise even more awareness of Hadoop, he wrote an article, Merv and Nick did, that kind of the community interpreted a little, oh, he's calling Hadoop dead, but actually he was calling the glass half full, I think, and uh, was saluting us as uh, making progress. So that's my pitch. I wanted to come out here and use our five minutes to celebrate the success of Hadoop and uh, the ecosystem that we've built. Um, we're from SaaS, we're pretty good at analytics, and we're good at the whole value chain of things you can do on a cluster. So hopefully you'll come and talk to us in our booth, and uh, if you'd like to hear more about these patterns that make some successful, I'm in room E15, which is appropriate big number for a big data conference. So thank you very much.